Today we will create some panel lines for your hard surface model in Substance Painter. First, create a few layer and alt click the high channel to disable all the others. I'll call it lines. Next, set the height to a negative number. That will be the depth of the valley. I'll set it to negative 0.2. Right click the layer to add a black mask, then right click the black mask to add a paint layer. When you paint, you see a little gap appearing, but that's not what we want yet. Imagine that two beveled sheets of metal touch. There will be a little valley in between them and the shape of it will resemble something like a thorn. So go to the brush settings and in the alpha slot, click and search for thorn shape. Go to the spacing setting and decrease it to the minimum value. Now if you click, you will see that we have a torn shape. However, if you start painting, you will see that we lose that sharp valley that we want. So go to advanced blending in the brush settings and change it to lighten maximum. Now we preserve the sharpness when we paint. To draw straight lines, hold shift and click to paint. Hold Ctrl to snap to different angles. Now let's create some bolts. Create a new fill layer and call it bolts. Hold click the height channel to disable all the others. Now increase the height a bit. Right click the layer to add a black mask, then right click the mask to add a paint layer. Now go to the brush settings and change the alpha shape to paraboloid. Then, change the spacing to some high number. Now, your bolts will be evenly spaced when you paint. Now comes an important part. Create a new layer on top of your bolts and lines layer and call it Detail Blend. Alt click the height channel and now, change the height blending mode to pass through. When we set the blending mode to pass through, the layer will absorb all the height information from the bottom layers and store it. As if we had painted it all in one layer. Now we can add an anchor point to it and use that for our smart masks. Now let's add some dirt and wear. Add your base material to the top. I'll pick steel rough stain. Duplicate the metal layer, call it edge wear and add more roughness and change the color. Right click and add a black mask, now add the generator and choose metal edge wear. In the smart mask settings, search for micro details and make sure micro height is set to true. Scroll down to the micro height texture input, click the anchor point tab and select our anchor point that we previously created. In reference channel, change to height and in levels click auto. You can tweak this later if you want. Now, play with the curvature intensity and height details intensity to get what you want. Add a new layer and call it dirt. Set the color blending mode to multiply and pick some dirt color. Increase the roughness to something high. Add a black mask, add a generator and pick dirt. Go to micro details in the mask settings and enable micro height. Scroll down to the micro height texture input and select our anchor point. Set the reference channel to height and click auto. Now play with the contrast, AO radius and AO depth to get what you want. If you want to change the thickness of your lines, go to the lines mask and add a levels modifier. Slowly increase or decrease the value to change the line thickness. Now have fun painting some lines. And that's it for this video. Check the channel for more tutorials like this. If you want to support me, check my 3D model store in the description.